thumbnails. <laughs> Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and real quick, like the video if you're having an awesome day or you want to have an awesome day, because yes, this can be an awesome day. So, let's have an awesome day. Now, what we're doing today, we are on our way to Comal y Canela, which is a Mexican restaurant in Toronto, Ontario. In fact, uh, this is apparently the most authentic Mexican restaurant in Toronto, Ontario. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to have a taco challenge, yes that's right, where we're going to have an order of all of their tacos on the menu. So I believe we're going to have 30 minutes, uh, if I'm not mistaken. The tacos themselves, they range, uh, like in the order, it ranges from three to five. So most of them are four tacos, um, with the exception of, I believe, the shrimp comes in three. And then the bidia, yes, they have bidia, the famous stewed beef dipping tacos, where you dip them in the cosume, um, like the broth. Um, I believe that order has five. So it's a lot of tacos, as each uh, order of the tacos actually weighs about half a kilo, so over a pound. So you have to understand, as you're used to Mexican street-style tacos, that these are massive. Normally, Mexican street tacos are not this big. So these are absolutely giant, giant, giant. So a giant Mexican street taco challenge is what we're in for. Should be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, basically that's the info I know. We're gonna get you some more details here in a moment, but can't wait. I love Mexican cuisine. Uh, this is supposed to be the best of the best. So let's go eat some food, have some fun. Um, the kinds of meats, I mean, we got like shrimp, uh, carnitas, uh, carne asada, um, all the good stuff. I have no complaints. So let's go. I'm gonna focus on driving. Let's go eat some food and ultimately, let's have some fun. Right, everyone, so here we are with all the delicious looking tacos. So we have a veggie tinga, kind of like a, you know, pollo tinga, chicken pollo, um, which looks delicious. So it's like carrots, onions, all seasons looking delicious. We have a birria. Birria is so big right now. Those are the tacos which you're dipping in the lovely, lovely, lovely broth there. We then have chorizo, house-made chorizo. And note the size of these tacos. Each of these orders, they said at least like a half kilo, medio kilo. We have the carne asada. We have the pollo poblano, which is like a uh, chicken with peppers, which looks very delicious. We have the shrimp tacos here. We also have the carnitas. Again, everything being made here looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm so excited. So total, I guess there is technically 29 tacos here, um, but it is uh, also like an order of each, you could say. So it looks very delicious. These are huge, definitely the biggest, 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 biggest. Like, look at this, look at the size of these. I've never seen so much meat on these tacos. So you really, really, really get like, you get your money's worth, you can probably make another half dozen tacos out of one of these orders, but it looks delicious. So let's get started here. I also have some of their house-made salsas here as well to utilize. Um, but anyway, I'm pumped. I love Mexican cuisine. This is as aesthetic as it comes. So uh, I might dress a couple of these tacos and let's get going. All right, so we're gonna get started here. I'm definitely ready. Restaurant's ready, so let's get going. How about we say, I'm gonna start with the uh, veggie tinga. Looks very, very, very delicious. My mouth is watering. Ooh, oh, oh, it smells like Mexico. All right, so we're gonna start, set count five, four. Oh my gosh, my mouth, I'm salivating. Three, two, one, let's go. Mmm. Mm. Great flavor on that. some rice in there as well. A nice little bit of spice. Nothing crazy, but very delicious. Shout out vegetarian, all one bite this one.
That was really, really good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How about some of this chorizo? Really nicely flavored. I'm gonna try some of these salsas. This is kind of like a red. This is a green one. All house made this green actually. It just looks so thick, so creamy, so avocado-y. This uh, red salsa, salsa roja. This one's like chipotle. Mm. Mm. Really hard to flavor. The size of these tacos is huge though. There ain't no smell of Mexican street tacos. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's such a good guy. Great flavor. Is this a jalapeno in it? Very much reminds me of that green tomato in there. Mm. Very, very delicious. All right, this is the shrimp ones. These look really good as well. Okay, so fresco, sour cream, all that good looking stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Damn. Oh, wow. Damn, that is good. Wow. Just wow. They got some cheese on there. We should put it on the flat top. That is damn good. I am very impressed. Muy bien. Enrico. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Comal y Canela, which really, I mean, the name itself pays respect to how essential and how important uh, canela or cinnamon is in a lot of Mexican cuisine. So here we are doing a very large taco challenge. So this taco challenge weighed three and a half kilograms or essentially just under eight pounds. So we'll just call it an eight pound taco challenge for simplicity's sake. Um, so we had uh, basically an order of each of their different uh, varieties of tacos to which they had seven distinct uh, different varieties of tacos. Holy cow. Look at these carnitas. And here we have, you call this a, is it a matcha? Yeah, it's a hot salsa matcha. We actually make ours with pumpkin seeds, uh, nice. cashews, uh, sesame seeds, and a variety of dried peppers. Well, it looks delicious. It's, a, it's an oil uh, with an oil, olive oil base. Let's try it. That's delicious. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, with the ratios of carnitas? Oh, it's so good. Mm. This is a great bit of heat. Lovely almost like, get that, you definitely get that seed flavor. It's almost a little smoky. Damn, there's so much going on in my mouth right now. And that is damn, damn delicious. Look at it, delicious. Oh my god, I love that. That flavor. Smokiness. A little spice, the richest of those carnitas. Wow. Mm. Holy cow.
10 out of 10. Best carnitas ever, ever. They are damn good. So rich. Thank you. We will get the traditional meat out of the way in that copper pot. It's <laughs> good. You taste that difference. I love that matcha too. Mm. Mm. Honestly, those carnitas were actually better than any I had in Mexico. Sorry, but definitely the best carnitas I've ever had. So having been to Mexico and having another variety of uh, street tacos under my belt, no pun intended, I will say these were definitely some exceptionally high quality meats. We had some very authentic flavors, um, everything was moist, everything was juicy, I really enjoyed the uh, the shrimp ones as I mentioned were phenomenal, the carnitas were phenomenal, um, really great flavors, and like I said, just kind of really giving you know, we'll say odes and respect to Mexico. And again, really the authentic flavors. And their salsas were also really good as well. The asada tastes like Mexico. <laughs> it tastes like Mexico. Yeah, we do make it up, but we're all about tradition and we're all about recreating the taste and textures of Mexico. The only thing that we went away from was the tacos in Mexico. Street tacos are traditionally small. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to... <laughs> We're big eaters, and uh, my husband started to do construction work, and everyone that we knew were construction workers, so they have big appetites. Oh, yeah. So we wanted to be able for people to feel satiated. What well, tell you? They're huge. They're really good. I think you have achieved your goal. really tastes like Mexico. It's just like... Yeah, we like to say that Comari Canela is the soul of Mexico in Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's bringing me back to warm weather. <laughs> That's not a Canadian winter. So tacos similar to burritos are foods which can go down quite easy. Um, pretty much anything that's easy to chew or easy to swallow, I should say, um, is very quick to eat. So this is a challenge which, again, even though it's quite quick to eat or, you know, it appears quite quick to eat, the weight still fills you up. So you have to understand, an eight pound challenge is still an eight pound challenge. Um, it still caters a lot of difficulty, but I will say if you enjoy the food, it definitely helps. And I was very much enjoying the food here. Um, so I do think it was, a, it was definitely a and a lot of food. Um, these were massive, massive street tacos. I don't know about you, but I've never seen street tacos that were like this size. Um, and I guess that really just kind of shows, I mean, when you're having a half kilogram or, you know, an order of street tacos, it's over a pound and they only have four tacos in it or, you know, three tacos or five tacos, whatever it may be. Um, like they're, they're packing some size. All right. Got the chicken here, the foil, and the video. Everyone's been delicious so far. Super excited to get into these here as well. Mm. I absolutely love all the sauces though. Mm. Mm. Like this as well, the pumpkin peppers reminds me of Mexico. We often buy them because they're, honestly, in Mexico they're cheap. And like, or at least they're in season, I should say. And make dishes kind of like this. I love it. I like it a lot. Very, very, very good. Another thing I think which can really be appreciated with Kamali Canelli here is all the, with all the tacos and everything, it's like they were not skimping on the protein portions. 
Like if you wanted meat, you wanted protein, these were really packing it. I mean, you know, essentially, like if you saw the asada, the carne asada, if you saw the chorizo, those are literally straight meat. Like it was same as the carnitas, like very, very impressive. So, I mean, you're not getting the fillers, you know, it's not like it's loaded with lettuce and tomatoes or, you know, anything like that. Basically straight meat, which was really cool. Of course, they did have like the onions, the cilantro, the lime, all the salsas on the side. So you can, of course, mix it up and vary it to customize it to your liking, your flavor preference. That's true, I forgot it was Tuesday. Yeah, it's back on Tuesday. I don't discriminate on the day of the week. I'm down to celebrate <laughs> tacos any day. <laughs> That's what Chef Yamin says. Tacos are good any time of the day. It's true. Or... <laughs> yeah. yeah, we actually have a full menu all day, so you can actually come and we open and order anything on the menu. Mm. You can have tacos at 10 a.m. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everything on the menu is available right from the moment we open. I'll take tacos at 10 a.m. Yeah. All right, last, the bidia. People love bidia. It's got cheese, beautifully cooked beef, super soft, succulent. And then, this is, is this technically called consomme? Consomme? Yeah, that's a consomme, yeah. Excuse me. It's like a stewy, brothy, lovely thing. Dip your tacos in it. Oh wow. Very rich. Lovely flavors. Definitely lots of cheese on the video. On my tacos. So if you like cheese. But overall, 30 minutes and some very large and delicious Mexican street tacos. Um, you know, I'll let that everybody. It's pretty much, I believe, all the information I have to say for you today. Um, again, very, very nice food. Very good. I know they got a lot of uh, popularity for their bidia, um, which went very, like, famous on Instagram there. Um, so whether you're looking for bidia, you're looking for other street tacos, um, you know, I'm sure they have. They, they, they definitely have it all. It's quite an expansive menu, and I think the menu um, suits both somebody with a little bit more North Americanized palate, you know, let's say a little bit less familiar with authentic Mexican cuisine, but then they also have the true, true, true authentic Mexican cuisines. So that everybody, I'll let you get the rest of the video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Mm, all right, and we're 13 something in. We're about 13 minutes, I guess, maybe. Ooh, it's good. A lot of food. Something. It'll come. There you go. Okay, two tacos left. And we are done. Woo! So very, very, very delicious. That was a great array of tacos. Seriously, we got flavors, like I said, bring me back to Mexico. Just, I will give a special shout out to those shrimp tacos. Those were absolutely phenomenal. Literally the best carnitas I've ever had. Like I said, sorry Mexico, but 
these ones are actually better than the ones I had in Mexico, just being honest. But yeah, seriously, huge thanks to Comia Canela. The restaurant here is super cool. Um, not only is it very beautiful and aesthetic, but of course, they always have their takeout. They have all their options. They have the Bedia, which is very, very, very popular right now. Instagram will all over the place, and it's very, very delicious. I have no complaints. This was very, very delectable. I love tacos. Hashtag shout out Taco Tuesday. Although again, I think tacos are for any day of the week. So everybody, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, let me know down below. Hit that like button. Definitely check out Comey Canela. And uh, that's about it, guys. Excellent Mexican food in Toronto. Maybe I'll have to get some more food, though. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. But that everybody, until next time, say happy you. Happy eating. And uh, of course, have a good day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos, that's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.